Safe air testers are designed to provide a quick and easy method to carry out accurate periodic testing of breathing air supplies. The European standard for breathing air quality is EN12021, which should be referred to in conjunction with any overriding national standards. This training session features the F3001, which is designed specifically to test high pressure charging systems up to 300 bar. The F3001 can be supplied in either a hard weatherproof case or a laptop style case, depending on which option is chosen. In both instances, storage provision is made for a wide range of accessories and equipment. Testers are supplied with batteries packed separately. Please note, rechargeable batteries are not suitable for use with this instrument. These must be installed prior to use unless it's the intention to power the unit solely from a main supply. It's important to strictly observe polarity when fitting batteries and ensure that they are correctly located. If the tester is to be used adjacent to a power socket, the mains adapter may be used. Please note that the unit should be switched off prior to connection or disconnection of the main supply. The test is carried out using Draeger chemical reagent tubes, one each for carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, water and oil. These are supplied in packs of 10 per type and in most cases show the degree of contaminant present as a colour change to the crystals that they contain. The extent of this is read against the scale on the tube. To carry out a test, first switch on the machine by pressing and holding the on-off button on the keypad for approximately two and a half seconds. The display will show both the model and serial numbers. If the battery condition is OK, press Enter. Press Enter again to acknowledge the date of the last calibration. Connect the high pressure regulator assembly to the cylinder to be tested, ensuring that the regulator has the correct type of connector for the cylinder. Connect the regulator hose coupling to both the regulator and the inlet of the tester. Open the cylinder valve and check that the cylinder is fully charged by reading the contents gauge on the regulator. A partially discharged cylinder can give an incorrect water result. The pressure displayed on the tester will be that of the regulated supply from the cylinder and must not exceed 10 bar. Please note that if the unit is overpressurized, it will automatically shut down and display an overpressure warning. It will then need to be returned to the manufacturer for checking and resetting. Press Enter. Briefly press the odour test button on the front of the tester and smell the air exhausted from the sintered bronze outlet. If there is a serious odour problem, fail the sample at this point of the test. Initiating flows of seriously contaminated air through the tube ports could result in damage to the unit. If the odour test is satisfactory, press Enter to carry out the tube tests. All flow rates through the tube ports are set, as is the duration of flow through the carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and water ports. Duration of flow through the oil channel is variable and must be set as follows using the up and down scroll buttons. The oil time must now be selected by entering the preset times menu and using the up and down scroll buttons. The oil time is selected to correspond to the particular type of compressor oil that could be present in the cylinder being tested. This information can be found in the documentation wallet and is updated regularly on our website. The tester is programmed with four preset times which cover the vast majority of compressor oils currently available. In this example, the oil is known to be Anderol 555 with no risk of cross-contamination from other oils. Consequently, the 15-minute preset time has been selected. Press Enter to confirm your selection. 
If the oil being used does not correspond to a preset time, the unit has the capability to be programmed with a custom time. This will be stored with the presets for future tests and will remain in the memory until a new custom time is entered. If an oil time is not selected, the unit will default to 15 minutes. This setting should be used if the type of compressor oil potentially in the system is not known or there is a risk of cross-contamination from other oils. Confirm that all settings are correct by selecting Y and pressing Enter. If settings are not correct, select N and repeat the previous procedures, correcting any errors using the scroll buttons. Confirm the amended settings by selecting Y followed by Enter to move to the next screen. The unit will now commence a 5-minute purge sequence, during which time airflow will be passed through all four tube ports. This clears contaminants from previous tests and ensures that a representative sample is being tested. Once the purge has finished, the Draeger tubes can be prepared for insertion. Remove both ends using the cutter provided. This ensures a clean cut is made and that glass fragments do not fall into the tube ports. The latest Draeger tube tip cutter has three cutting blades. Insert the tube into the hole and gently rotate. Then rotate the tube to the side to break the tip. The tube tip will be retained within the cutter for later disposal. As each tube is prepared, it should be inserted into the relevant gland with the arrow pointing outwards and tightened firmly. Once all four tubes have been inserted, press Enter to start the test. The duration will be displayed as a countdown together with airline temperature, ambient temperature, oxygen content and pressure. The status of the individual tests is indicated on the left-hand side of the display. Black indicates test active and clear test completed. The unit can be left until the test time has elapsed. The readings on the display will now be locked and should be recorded on the results pad or directly into the Excel tester results spreadsheet. A copy of this spreadsheet can be downloaded free of charge from Factair's website. Tube readings can be taken either at the end of the test or individually when the status bar indicates that flow has ceased through a particular port. Instructions on reading detector tubes and their safe disposal can be found in the documentation wallet. If the test sample contained carbon monoxide, a greyish stain will be present at the start of the white crystals on the CO tube. The extent of this must not be greater than 5 parts per million for the UK and 15 parts per million for the European standard EN12021. A maximum carbon dioxide level of 500 parts per million is permissible in breathing air. The expected background level is approximately 380 parts per million and this will be represented as a purple stain at the start of the CO2 tube. The oil tube differs from the others in that it operates by colour change rather than the extent of a stain against a scale. To establish whether oil was present in the sample, gently snap the tube as shown. Alternatively, if you have the latest Draeger tube tip cutter, place the tube in the back of the slot, making sure that the dot closest to the tube inlet aligns with the dot on the cutter. Then gradually pull the end of the tube down until you gently snap as shown. Both the inner and outer tubes must break but be careful not to tear through the outer plastic sleeve. Hold the tube upright with the crystals at the bottom and tap it to help the fluid that was contained within the inner tube flow onto the crystals. Once the crystals are wetted, wait one minute. If oil is present, a stain will appear immediately below the metal gauze. This will tend to be yellow for synthetic oil and brown or beige for mineral oil. Any significant stain would indicate a fail with an oil concentration of greater than 0.5 milligrams per cubic metre. 
Please note that once broken, the tube must not be inverted, as the fluid it contains is concentrated sulfuric acid and this may leak out, causing injury. The water tube shows the amount of moisture present in the sample as a brownish stain on the yellow crystals. This is measured against the scale in milligrams per cubic metre. A maximum of 50 milligrams per cubic metre is permissible in systems up to 200 bar and 35 milligrams per cubic metre in systems above that pressure. Where a sample is taken directly from a charging whip, the maximum water level is 25 milligrams per cubic metre. This is to take account of residual moisture within the cylinders to be charged. When all readings have been logged, the unit can be switched off by pressing and holding the on-off button or restarted by pressing it briefly if further tests are to be carried out. The tester will automatically switch off after one hour if not used. Records of air quality tests should be kept for five years. Spent tubes should be placed in the container provided for disposal in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions when convenient. To disconnect the instrument from the cylinder, firstly turn off the cylinder valve. Then depress the odour test button until all the air is exhausted. It's now safe to disconnect the connection hose and cylinder regulator.